Okay, so this is a short video. I wanted to cover a question that I see online uh, quite often, and it's about AI versus non AI lenses. What are the differences? And usually, the question is followed by Can I mount this lens onto my camera safely? And uh, the answer to that question is It depends on your camera. Some cameras you can, some cameras you can't. And uh, the reason for that is that the physically the AI and the non AI lenses are different if we look at these two lenses up here um, I have an, an AI and a non AI lens if you look at the uh, this portion here it's flat whereas with the non AI with the AI lens this is the AI, AI non AI you have this little tab here and what this is used for is that it when you mount it onto the camera a camera that is able to um, meter using AI you have a little tab there that when you move the uh, aperture in it's telling the camera the aperture of the lens so the camera is able to meter accordingly so why is non-AI different? Well, non-AI is different because it was made for a different system of cameras which used this little thing here for metering. So if you look at this, it has the bit, the small, uh, what they call rabbit ears. If you mount it onto the camera, instead of using the little tab, it uses that pin with the bunny ears when you change the aperture it's the same concept it's letting know it's letting the camera know the aperture of the lens so it's able to meter accordingly so then we proceed to the question can I mount the non-AI lens safely onto my camera because a lot of people, usually the non-AI lenses are cheaper than the AI lenses, so a lot of people are looking for the cheapest option. And the non-AI lenses, you can mount them on your camera, um, but it depends on the body. If you have one of these uh, entry-level uh, Nikon cameras like the D3000 series, the D5000 series, the older uh, D70, D90, and uh, a bunch of other cameras, the answer is you can mount the non-AI lenses. It, it's not gonna be able to meter either way, way with AI or non-AI, but you're gonna be able to mount it. One way to tell if you are not sure is if you don't see any tab here, then you can mount it. This non-AI lens, you can mount it onto your entry-level body. It's gonna be a snugger fit than regular AI lenses or uh, regular AF, AFS lenses, but it's gonna fit, you're gonna be able to use it, um, but all the exposure is gonna have to be done manually. Now, there are cameras where you can't mount these non-AI lenses, and it's with all the cameras that are able to meter using AI. That's the uh, most full-frame uh, Nikon cameras. Here's an example, the D700, uh, there's the D200, 300, Usually the more expensive cameras, they have this little tab that I was talking about. So if you try to mount a non-AI lens on this, then there's no space for the, for the lens to be mounted all the way. You might break this tab, it's not going to damage your camera completely, like you're probably still going to be able to use it, but you're not going to be able to mount non-AI and meter with non-AI lenses. So that's the the downside of trying to mount a non-AI lens on this and breaking the, the little tab. So that's uh, basically it. Non-AI, good on all the uh, entry level or the less expensive bodies that don't have that tab. AI, good on all digital Nikon bodies. That's it.